Hi guys, welcome back. My name is Keeklyn and I am the creator of Her Atlas. I just got back from the grocery store and I figured I would just show you everything I got. It wasn't like a very specific grocery run or anything. It's my dog. We just needed like snacks, like random knickknacks. The first thing I got is the Biore UV Watery Essence SPF. I've been using a different SPF and right now on my YouTube channel and on Instagram, I've been doing Japanese beauty product reviews and a lot of my readers and followers recommended me trying this, so I got it. This is the next item. I'm really excited to try it. Onigiri is just like a rice ball, like that's, or that's what I call it. Yeah, this is onigiri. You can get these at like 7-Eleven. The directions to cook it Looks like you can put it in a pan or anything. Yeah, let me show you the back. This is what the back looks like. So I guess you can like cut it in half and fill it with things. And then it comes in like this little crate and it gives you cooking directions on the back. So I'm really excited to try this. They are frozen right now. I got some tonkatsu, which is breaded pork. This was 398 yen, which comes out to about $3.80 USD. And the quality of it is so good. The food at the grocery stores are just like really, really fresh. Got some eggs. I feel like there's not a lot to say about that. Just some eggs. Sesame cucumbers. So they're Japanese cucumbers and they have some type of like sesame vinegar, spicy thing on them. They're typically eaten as like a snack as you drink beer, but I love eating these by themselves. They're kind of sweet, spicy, and like a sesame flavor. They're really, really crunchy and crispy, and I will like crush this in no time at all. This was 194 yen, which is about $1.80 USD. Strawberries. Japanese strawberries are so delicious. We actually have strawberry season, basically December through the summertime, so six months out of the year. In the winter, they're grown in greenhouses, and then in the springtime, early summer, they're grown in strawberry fields. They're really, really, really good. If you like snack hauls, I have a YouTube video, I'll link it here, but I did um, at the beginning of strawberry season, 7-Eleven and a lot of other retailers where had like a lot of strawberry flavored snacks that were made fresh every day. So I did a strawberry haul from 7-Eleven, which you guys can check out and it was a lot of fun to do. We love udon. So we got some pre-made udon noodles. Um, it literally says udon right there. But if you don't know how to read Japanese, you can just tell by the noodles that are inside. They're thicker and they're already cooked, so all we have to do is put them in a broth. They're already cooked and they're still kind of moist and really soft, so they're prepared udon noodles. Udon dashi, so this literally says udon dashi. Um, dashi is like water and fish flakes that have been boiled together to make a broth. So I can't read the packet enough to know if there's like other stuff in it, so I wanted to try it and it has like the little pictures on the back. So I kind of have an idea of how to use it. I got chopped up onions. These are my favorite. I cannot chop up my green onions to look like this. So I always buy them some fresh chicken. These are like three pretty large chicken breasts. It's 898 grams, so I feel like this is about a pound and a half to two pounds of chicken. And the color of it is still like this brown pink. And I'm from the United States and our chicken is just so processed. It's normally like a white color. The chicken here is amazing. And this was about $4.20 USD. Some of my followers wanted me to try this, so I'm doing a video on it later, but this is hand soap, and when you put your hand on the top of it and push it down, it's a flower shape, so it'll look something like this. So anyway, it was just cute and fun, and we needed hand soap anyway, so we're gonna try it. 
gold watermelon. This is fresh watermelon already chopped up. About $3.20 USD. I got enoki mushrooms. If you have not tried these mushrooms before, they are so good. I've never had them. Well, I had never had them before moving to Japan. And they're like basically these long, stringy, skinny mushrooms. They get stuck in your teeth sometimes. When you cook with them, they like soak up a lot of sauce and I love sauce. So anyway, if you ever see these, they're really good. Sometimes at restaurants, they wrap them in like pork belly or bacon and they fry them or tempura them or grill them. These are really, really good. Mango boba. I haven't tried this before. You can get boba at the grocery stores, which is really nice. I also got a matcha latte, like a little Starbucks one. I haven't tried this one yet. I haven't tried this one yet. So anyway, I just like trying new things here. I found this massive udon kit. Um, so there's the noodles in here and there's a sauce. And the packaging is so pretty. It's like paper. There's pictures on the back. So even though my Japanese fluency is still beginner, I can still like figure things out, which is fine. But it feels really dense and the noodles feel like they're cooked already. So I think I just have to like put it in warm water and then put the sauce inside. This was about four US dollars. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to try this. These are so good. These are my favorite, favorite, favorite little snacks. These are the Jagabi soy sauce and butter crisps. So they basically look like dehydrated french fries, but they taste exactly like KFC mashed potatoes with gravy. Um, I will find these on Amazon and link them in the description. They have a few different packages. Like this one's like a burnt orange, but they also make the same exact one, but package it in a red one. So it can be confusing. As long as you have a potato with the butter and the soy sauce on top, that's what you're looking for. But it looks like gravy, even though it's not, it's soy sauce. I got two of those. Eggplant, nothing exciting. But you'll notice they wrap everything in plastic. Um, it's kind of obnoxious, but I can't really do anything about it. Even the local vendor that's next to us, everything's wrapped in plastic too. So basically anything that comes to Japan that we can't grow ourselves is imported. So the plastic helps keep things longer. And then um, also with the COVID situation, having things wrapped in plastic is more sanitary for the actual product. So. It's like a health thing too. I wish and hope that one day it gets better. <laughs> I feel like a lot of you will recognize this. I don't know if it's going to focus. The little, uh, there we go. It's the yogurt can. I, I don't know if that's like a Korean drink or Japanese drink, but this is actually a cocktail. It has 3% in it and I've never seen this flavor before. So I grabbed this so that I can try it. Uh, maybe I will feature it in a, another YouTube video or something like that. The last stuff I got was ice cream. Ice cream in Japan is like absolutely the best, especially Haagen-Dazs. These are really expensive too. They're almost like $2.80 each, but they're also the perfect size. So this one is Goldenberry Rare Cheesecake. So it's a cheesecake ice cream and then the very top layer of it, like thinner than the lid, is a Goldenberry like tart syrup it's so good also fun fact if you see anything that says rare cheesecake um, that's marketed in Japan that means it's more like a New York City style cheesecake or what I think of as being an American what a cheesecake would be because cheesecake in Japan is more like a fluffy bread that like jiggles so if you want like a very dense cheesecake you want to get something that says rare cheesecake I also got a yuzu blanc manger so i haven't tried this yet but yuzu is a japanese citrus so it's kind of like an orange and a lemon but not really um so i haven't tried this one yet and i'm really excited about it white mint and chocolate this is delicious it's a uh, like a very mild creamy mint ice cream with like very very thin shavings of chocolate flakes it's delicious um and i mean they honestly had so many different flavors if you guys want more like grocery store hauls like this leave a comment or like this video just liking the video also shows me that you're like interested in these things so anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this like super quick video and i will see you guys later make sure you subscribe to my channel and i'll see you on Instagram.